What's up guys, iDeviceHelp here, and today in this video, I'm going to give you guys a quick look at iOS 10 Beta 3 running on the iPhone 5. Now, I've been tracking the progress, the performance, and any new features added to the iPhone 5 with iOS 10, given the fact that the iPhone 5 is the oldest iPhone to support the operating system. So in this video, I'm going to give you guys a quick overall view of the performance, if it has increased or decreased, and also show you some additional features that I missed on yesterday's video with iOS 10 Beta 3 coverage. So let's get right to it. So before we start with the iPhone 5, there was one feature introduced in iOS 10 and Beta 2, which allow you to unlock your device simply using your Touch ID without pressing on the Home button, which is under the Accessibilities and the Home button options inside of Accessibilities. Press finger to open. This option was introduced in Beta 2, and it wasn't working for me after I updated to Beta 3, but after rebooting my device yesterday a few times, it started working. So you can simply just rest your finger on the Touch ID, just like iOS 9, and it will go through the animation and unlock your device. Now in iOS 10 Beta 2, the previous version, this wouldn't unlock your device at all. It wouldn't go through the animation. So it's now working, and again, it wasn't working yesterday for me on the coverage of iOS 10 beta 3 but it is after I reboot it several times so now let's get to the iPhone 5 first I want to talk about the lock screen there's a new animation for the clock inside of the widgets panel inside of your lock screen if you take a look here at the clock and I want you guys to pay attention to the lock here at the top of the status bar how it changes to the time after you swipe through the animation just like that so very cool new animation for the clock inside of the widgets panel of your lock screen inside of the messages application if you go now to select an image you now get a grid separating all the images and you can tap and hold on one of the images to edit the image right away or you can simply drag an image to the text just like that you don't have to tap on it you can simply send it by dragging and dropping just like that and you can drag as many as you want as you can see there and it's just a lot easier to select images just by simply dragging them from the image section there under the photos section of the messages application now some of you guys are also being tweeting at me some images of what seems to be an ethernet adapter option available in ios 10 and beta 3 as you can see there an ethernet connection this was tweeted at me and it gives you an ethernet option right below the wi-fi section so i'm not quite sure what that would be but it looks like that's something that's popping up on some users running ios 10 and beta 3. now overall reddit some users are also indicating that a moisture or liquid Liquid indicator is popping up on their screens if the device has moisture inside and you attempt to connect it to a power source to the lightning connector so if you connect your device and it's got any kind of liquid or moisture inside it will tell you with this prompt that you have a liquid inside of your device to disconnect that power source to prevent any further damage now aside from those additional features what's the performance like on the iPhone 5 the speed difference well I have a test here from Geekbench so the single core score here is 699 on beta 2 and on beta 3 is 702 now on the multi core score we have 1262 and a 1271 on the beta 3 for iOS 10 so a slight increase not a drastic change overall the OS is starting to feel very very smooth very nice on the iPhone 5 the scores are increasing everything is working the way it should everything is flowing rather nicely again this is the third beta and it feels very smooth very nice on the iPhone 5 so if you guys have an iPhone 5 and are thinking about upgrading to iOS 10 and you want to try it out this will be the right time to kind of start trying it out beta 3 just seems a very very solid in terms of performance on the iPhone 5 and there you guys have it that is iOS 10 running on the iPhone 5 some additional new features for iOS 10 and beta 3 I hope you guys enjoy the video like always don't forget to click that like button much more videos coming your way stay tuned it's been iDevice help and I will catch you guys on the next one peace